Morning, friends. I'm glad to be with you in prayer this morning. As we pray today, I'm going to be offering a prayer for first responders. As a result of what's going on in the news, both the trial that we see the details of on a daily basis, as well as the additional senseless shootings that have occurred over the last couple of weeks in our nation, we have again and again seen news footage of first responders responding to the scene of yet another tra tragedy in our world. So as we gather today, we am going to offer up a prayer for first responders. Let's pray together. Good and gracious God, we begin the day praying for first responders, the men and women who in normal times we may think of only when we need them, those who run into danger rather than away, to help us and keep us safe, to help others and keep them safe. Men and women who are willing to risk self-harm for our protection. Everyday heroes who find themselves today in a world of even greater risk. Lord, when we hear the siren wailing in the distance, help each of us to pause, if only for a second, to say thank you for the promise of safety and hope in the sound. Help us to remember to pray for those to whom the call has been dispatched and those who are responding. Lord, we lift up special prayer for their protection and safety, prayers of thanksgiving for all they do, and prayers for the safety as they protect us. Friends, as we pray this day, I invite you to lift up prayers of thanksgiving for the protection of first responders you know by name and those you know only by circumstance, to include those we see acting on the daily news. Thank you, God, for our first responders. Thank you for all they are doing in the world to keep us safe. We want to be change agents in the world. We want to know that we can, what we can do to make a difference, literally how we can be examples of change in the world. Let us begin by each time we encounter a first responder to do two things. One, to say thank you, and two, to tell them so and mean it. Be safe. Amen. Our reading for today is from Psalm 148, verses 1 through 14. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise him in the heights. Praise him, all his angels. Praise him, all his host. Praise him, sun and moon. Praise him, all you shining stars. Praise him, you highest heavens and you waters above the heavens. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for he commanded, and they were created. He established them forever and ever. He fixed their bounds, which cannot be passed. Praise the Lord from the earth, and you sea monsters all deeps, fire and hail, snow and frost, stormy wind fulfilling his command, mountains and all hills, fruit trees and all cedars wild animals and all cattle, creeping things and flying birds, kings of the earth and all peoples, princes and all rulers of the earth, young men and women alike, old and young together, let them praise the name of the Lord, for his name alone is exalted. The, his glory is above earth and heaven. He has raised up a horn for his people. Praise for all his faithful, for the people of Israel who are close to him. Praise the Lord. Amen. <laughs> 